And what we're looking for is, is contractile reserve, features of contractile reserve. And this is a, a function of, um, of essentially the movement along the Frank Starling curve um, by the heart. Anything greater than 12 is very promising. This is 13.1 at two litres of flow. So this is looking promising. And we'll look at the TDS prime, which is um, which is already in uh, in um, positive weaning function. Right side of the right side heart assessment looks pretty good at um, at two litres per minute. Dropping down, making sure the LV is not distending out. Each incremental change needs to occur over about 10 minutes to allow for a degree of equilibration. And we look and we see that, again, there's no development of mitral regurgitation. We want to see the EF increase a little bit. Um, we will measure the EF to, to get objective and subjective data. Uh, again, make sure that the right heart is improving. You can see the S prime's improving here. Tapsy's got better. Um, and the VTI, again, looking at that up to 14.1. So, so that's evidence of contractile reserve that that stroke volumes incremented in accordance with an increased preload. Down at 0.5 litres per minute, we'll often do this very, very briefly. That's very low flow for the circuit, risks, risks um, risk stasis and thrombosis. Uh, in some cases, we may give a, a bolus dose of heparin in order to uh, um, stay down at this level and um, perform our echocardiographic images. And again, we're looking to see that there's no signs of LV distension. We're looking to see that the uh, visual EF as well as the measured EF is incrementing. So 26% there and the VTI is improving again. You see 14.6. So there's been an incrementation from 13 to 14.6, which is uh, evidence of contractile reserve. So using a standardised assessment form, um, uh, like this one from the Alfred, you would track this over time at the various flows and uh, and look at the trends in invasive hemodynamics as well, mean arterial pressure, um, uh, CVP, pulmonary artery pressures if you have them, as well as the vasopressor requirement. 